it's Kieran here from Dark Moon Emporium and today I've been using cardboard in my Xtool D1 to help me centre my designs. One of the challenges of using a laser like the Xtool D1 is to get your design placed where you want it on whatever it is you are lasering. And today I'm going to show you a method that I learned from watching the LA Hobby Guy. Now he used Lightburn software, uh, which is a, it's a great program, but it isn't free. And I'm going to try using Xtool Creative Space, which is free. Before I get into the tutorial, I should mention that I am using XCS version 2 beta. Um, it's not 100% available uh, to everyone just yet, but it should be available soon. And I'm going to be making a fixture, which is often called a jig, uh, that will hold my item in place. And I'm going to use absolute coordinates to help me position the laser. This is the image that I want to engrave onto a uh, coaster, which is uh, 100 millimeters in diameter. Um, so the blue circle, the cyan circle, if I bring up my layers, so the cyan circle is the, uh, represents my coaster and this is the image I want to put on it. Okay, so I'm going to begin by setting the, uh, the circle to cut the material that I'm using is going to be corrugated paper and uh, the coordinates, the processing start point, I'm going to change from relative coordinates to absolute coordinates. And now I'm going to frame the object um, and I'm going to go over to my uh, X to D1 and show you how I've got that set up. So with framing completed, I'm going to turn off the output for the red layer and make sure that the cyan or blue layer is turned on. And if I go to process and start, then back over to the, uh, the D1 and Press the uh, press the start button. Editing Karen popping in here. I'm cutting a hole in the card because the coaster is very light and it will get blown around by the air assist, which I uh, pretty much have on permanently. If I were going to be engraving something heavy, I would just score the outline and position the item inside it. And of course, if I were going to be cutting something out, uh, I would create a hole so that I didn't put holes in my cardboard when I was doing my cutting. So my first attempt um, didn't cut through. So now I've changed the parameters and hopefully this should work. Start. So it's homed itself. And now I'm gonna hit the start button on the computer. with the cat so now I am going to turn the circle layer output to off turn the picture layer to output on it's engrave and for a set the setting I am going to use the three and a half millimeter plywood still on absolute coordinates now this is the time if I want to to fiddle with the um, to fiddle with things like power and speed, and I am going to up the power just a little tiny bit. Let's go to seventy percent because I want a, a fairly dark finish. That's okay, and once I hit process, I should just see 
just the engraving. It says it's going to take me about seven minutes. So let's hit start and see what happens. I have centered that coaster as best I can. Could possibly have made my, uh, my frame, my fixture. 100% uh, sorry 100 millimeters spot on but I'm close enough so I'm gonna let that carry on for the next six and a bit minutes full disclosure time I wasn't a hundred percent happy with the results from my first attempt so I went back I tweaked a few things and I tried again I changed the size of the uh, of the blue circle to uh, 100.5 millimeters uh, 100 was too was was too tight. 101 gave too much play, so uh, 100.5 was uh, was just right. And I also changed the size of the uh, engraving to uh, 85 millimeters wide. Um, and I of course made sure that everything was aligned horizontally, hor horizontally, horizontally and vertically. Um, and when I processed my uh, design with those parameters, this was the result I got. And I am pretty pleased with it. And there it is. And I do hope that you found this helpful. And if so, please do give me a thumbs up below because it really does help my channel. Meanwhile, I hope to see you again soon. But for now, thank you for joining me. Bye bye.